Welcome. Today we're going to look at another RSS client for iPad and for Mac OS this time. It has been, it's one of the ones that's been around a long time actually. Uh, although it took a bit of a hiatus. We're talking about Net Newswire. So Net Newswire was originally owned by Brent Simmons, um, who owns it again, but he was done with it. It went to other places. It stopped getting developed. It, yeah. And then now it's back. Um, I remember using that newswire probably 10 years ago uh, when I first started with Mac. So I would have got my first Mac in 2010, yeah, maybe 2009. Anyway, and I remember using it as my RSS reader of choice then for a while on Mac OS. Um, yeah, let's dig in. Let's have a look at just what it's like, uh, starting with iPad OS, and we'll come back to the Mac version in a bit. So let's actually start with the keyboard commands, or a few things that I don't love about it, I guess. Um, you can see right here we have, so like the podcast rebound has been read, but it doesn't actually get cleared. Uh, and last time I checked, there was no way to clear it, um, unlike uh, what you can do with unread, where you can hit shift command X and you can clear all articles that have been read. So let's just check our keyboard shortcuts. And it's got a good set of them, actually, by holding command. And you can see you've got refresh, uh, next on red, go to today, all on red, starts article search. So it's got a good, and it supports gestures, right? And that was a uh, two finger swipe with the trackpad here. And it doesn't show. So the, what I've done before is hit command one. You can see this if we show our keyboard commands again. Uh, command one, two, and three right here, go to today, unread or starred. So I can go to today, let's everything publish today, command two. Now in the past, I've had that sometimes not work. I don't know why. Uh, and of course, it's going to work during the screencast. But I've just had it not work sometimes where the command gestures did not um, toggle back and forth. Um, yeah. And you can't, or you have a hard time, right? You could hear, I don't know why it's doing that. That's interesting. <laughs> Couldn't or you can't navigate necessarily with uh, keyboard um, commands all the time. How do we mark as red? Um, I don't use this one as my main client. So toggle read status shift command U. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to come up with. Go mark unread and go to next unread. Mark all as red. Mark unread is also U, so we can go with U. There we go, you, you. That's actually something that I do like about it. Um, the you toggles the unread status and it's not uh, at like command something, right? So command M in um, unread marks something as unread. Now, one thing you can't do from the keyboard that I can find is up here, toggle to a two pane view. And this is nice. Um, just to get more focus on your article. But one of the things that is not great is how long the line lengths are. It doesn't really do anything for design. Design. I mean, unread is just a much cleaner reading view, uh, really. Um, and it just works nicer in that way um, to have give you a good view for reading and give you a nice, like a nice design. I said this in my first review of unread one. Um, quite a while ago, and I'll link that up above. And I said it again in my review of Unread 2, that Unread, once I started using it, became the reading experience that everything else was judged by, really. Like, it really was the one that I wanted to look at. Because um, it was just so pretty. Another thing that Net Newswire can do is right down here, and we can toggle, and because I know that Adventure Journal does trun truncated articles, you can see it's kind of thinking down here as it reads, I suppose. And now it brought in my full article instead. Ooh, it's a house on wheels and a truck. But you know people who live in stuff like this are my friends. Um, well, it's nice that you can bring in articles that are truncated. I don't know why people do summary feeds anyways, but... I like that unread just does it by default. I wish they preloaded it um, when it's like the next article or they preloaded it while you're reading stuff because you still have to wait in unread. Like you have to, when you go to view the article, you have to wait for a while to get it to show up. Um, I wish it didn't do that. I wish it just preloaded it, but it doesn't. 
Um, another thing I like when you are, especially when I have it on my phone uh, on, or Net Newswire or on my iPad, is that these two arrows up here. So they mark, they just jump to the next or previous article. If you want to read that, so let's not do it. So they jump to the next or previous article immediately instead of having to like scroll through. And this does not do like some uh, RSS clients where it just lets you scroll through. It does, right? With spacebar, I can scroll a little bit or just kind of jump to the next section. And I actually find that that's okay here, right? So the typing experience, you can see it kind of ends with that image and it still leaves lots of that image on the screen. So when you're doing long chunks of words, you really can still see uh, everything and you don't get lost in place because it jumps too far, right? I've had some that would jump from like this last line here would actually be like barely on the screen. So it'd be hard to read still. And it's been a while since I've looked at Reader, but I remember Reader doing that and always being like, oh, it's hard to figure out where I was because it jumped totally off screen. Whereas this still gives you some reference, which I like. Now, as far as sync support, you can see I use Feedbin, uh, but it supports a couple other services and only a few. Uh, it supports, we'll just add account. Uh, on my iPad, which means they feed items just stay on your iPad, that it's not going to sync between your devices. Feedbin and Feedly. Um, on iPad OS, this is going to come up in a minute because we are going to look at Mac OS in a minute. Now, it also does give you a few options as far as how it can look. Not a lot. Um, gives you a few uh, thoughts about your timeline layout, right? And this is just the article view, how big the icons are, number of lines, stuff like that. So I could say make it take up more lines, right? And that's really it. Like, it doesn't give you a lot of other stuff, right? Here's all the GitHub stuff, um, the bug tracker, Net Newswire, Slack, about Net Newswire. It's actually one of the interesting things is that Net Newswire is open source. So especially around the feeds. So when we get to Mac, we'll find that it only supports on my Mac or Feedbin. It does not support Feedly. I think that's what it is. Um, in fact, I know that's what it is because I use Feedbin and I'm okay. But if you use Feed Wrangler or other services, um, well, I'm trying to think what the other ones are. I don't remember right now um, a bunch of the other ones. But if you use either of those, you're just out of luck. <laughs> um, and Mac, and there's a difference in what's supported on Mac and iOS because uh, Brent is building, I think he's focusing mainly on the Mac one, and then other people are working on the iOS version with his blessing. Um, but he has, in interviews that I've read with him or heard with him, he says that someone has to add it if you want it. And he, like, it's just not necessarily his priority in development. So there is no ETA for getting more support. There is no ETA for having Feedly support on both platforms even. Um, you just got to take it as it comes and it may not come. So that's one of the bad things about open source is that it's don't don't just complain, maybe roll up your sleeves and do something about it. Um, and then if Brent, he's not making any money from it, he says it'll always be free. But if Brent is done, because he just needs to be done, because he has to work his job, then um, yeah, it may not be developed anymore, which would suck, it'd be tough, it'd be tougher anyways. Now a few other things it does support here with my trackpad, you can see it goes two finger swipe and I can go star. If I keep pulling, it'll do star or I can go more and access some of these other uh, actions. It also supports the right. So it does this with your fingers as well. And then if I two finger click with the trackpad, or this would be a long press, then it gives me other actions to go uh, with the article. Now let's switch over to the Mac version and see what that's like. So now we're on Net Newswire for Mac OS. One of the things that I find with any Mac app now that frustrates me that I wish was different really um, is that you, I want to hold command all the time and see my keyboard shortcuts but nothing comes up because that's just not how it works. So in Net Newswire you can find it right here under the help menu and you can see all your keyboard shortcuts and there's a lot. Now I'm going to admit right now that I don't know all of them. Um, yeah I don't know all of them but it's got a good selection just like the iPad OS app. It's got a good selection of keyboard shortcuts for you um, so that you can get done what you need to get done. So I like that. And let's go command comma and we can see you can suggest or change how it syncs. Um, yeah, you can add accounts, but like I said, you can only add like these two options. Like, yeah, so that sucks. Um, 
yeah, I'm already signed into Feedbin. And if I hit add, I can choose on my Mac or Feedbin and then the advanced options. So there's not a lot of advanced options, really. Um, check for updates, I'm updated. So that makes means I don't have a new sync service. Um, one of the nice things about this is I actually like the reading experience on this better. I find the fonts are bigger. I like that part. Um, yeah, it's just nice. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, the keyboard shortcuts seem to match, at least a few that I know, right? So that's U to mark as unread uh, or toggle red status. That's great. We can open Safari directly. Uh, we can customize our toolbar, just like a normal Mac app and add things in and out. I haven't really done anything with this. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's a good service overall. It's a good app overall. It looks like a Mac. It looks like you'd expect. And I like, like this view I actually like. That's one knock against Unread is that it's not on Mac OS. So you just have to use something else anyways. And right now my something else on Mac OS, uh, the time I really want to read on it. And that's actually not a lot because I like my whole blogging workflow is, flow is set up through shortcuts. So I don't do a lot of reading on my Mac. Um, but when I'm going to go through my feeds, Net Newswire is what I use to go through my feeds because I just like it. It it looks decent here. It looks nice here. And that's really it for Net Newswire. Um, it is a good iPad app. Uh, I wish it had like a single article view only instead of just a two column view. I wish the line lengths were not quite as long um, when you're looking at an article in its wider view. Uh, I wish there's a few more options around the design. Like I find the fonts looking at the two right now because I've got them both up beside me. I've got my Mac and my iPad. The fonts are really small on the iPad and they're decent on the um, on the Mac. They're good on the Mac um, and they're really small over here and there's no way to adjust them on your iPad. Uh, it sync services are different in what it supports in Mac uh, and iPad or uh, in Mac and iOS, right? So still there's a phone version. I didn't really show you that, but it's got the same features it has on iPad OS. Um, but the sync services are different. So, and that sucks. Like if you're on Feedly, you're like, oh, I can use it on iPad, but I can't use it anywhere else. So that just sucks. Um, but if like, so basically if you're using Feedbin um, and you're using multiple devices like this, then it's a perfectly fine option. It's great. Uh, the sync is fast, 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 fast. Um, I really like that. Uh, I feel it's a little faster than what Unread is, um, which is funny because for me, it's all backing on Feedbin. Um, yeah, and the sync on Feedly works fine too. I tried that out uh, in the iPadOS client with my Feedly account, and it's a good option. So it really depends on what you need. If you need both devices, if you need like your Mac and your iPad or your Mac and your phone to sync, then it's not, and you're not, and you're not on Feedbin, then it's not the right option. Um, if you're on Feedbin, go for it. Um, and if you just like the look of it, it's free. That's the other thing, it's free. So whereas Unread was $20, I believe, um, it's free. <laughs> so. That's good. And Red is a subscription. It's twenty dollars a year for RSS. So if you don't like that, then maybe don't use Feedbin or you don't use um, Unread. Um, but Net Newswire is free. Uh, it should have good development. It's got a good community behind it. It's open source. You can code with it on GitHub if you really want to. So yeah, I think it's a good option. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you love the video, you can subscribe, hit the bell, because then YouTube will let you know about stuff. But make sure you turn notifications off on your device because you just don't need notifications all the time. If you really want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. And for as little as five bucks a month, just make sure that videos keep coming on the stuff you want. Uh, and then I do some extra interactions, some extra videos, some extra stuff for Patreon members. Have a good day.